and fly won't take you to the stars. Use the metal for a boat and you won't sail too far. Stop sitting in the dark, stirring metal clouds about. You will change your life forever when you figure out. The secret pin code, 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 And that is how the story ended. Mm. And as a souvenir, I was left with a lightning scar. Wow. Where? What? Where? The scar. The lightning-shaped one. Huh? Mm. On my heart, my friend. On my heart. Cool. Nothing heroic ever happens to me. Not even anything I can impress my friends with. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, adventure. That is not difficult. The important thing is to live through it strictly by the laws of dramaturgy. But how do I do that? It's elementary. The term dramaturgy comes straight out of ancient Greek, and it means the art of creating a dramatic work. More simply, the ability to tell an interesting story. Simply speaking, the skill of telling interesting stories. And in any self-respecting story, there has to be a hero. And any self-respecting hero must have a goal. Ha ha! Dramaturgy is very simple, but we didn't mention another important detail. <laughs> Conflict. <laughs> and there are obstacles that prevent the hero from achieving his goal. Now we have the complete set. The three main components of any story. The hero, his goal, and conflict. Now, as they say, it's a complete drama. As you can see, everything is simple. You reach your goal despite all the obstacles. And that's it. The story is over. And you're a hero. But where do I find my goal? For a true hero, any small thing can become a goal. Here, for example. Mm. Complete this cube. Oh, that I can do. But what's so heroic about that? You're right. You need to increase the conflict. Hmm. Oh! The hero, the goal, and the conflict. It's wonderful, but in order to make the story really interesting, we still need to know how to tell an interesting story. Since Wally is a beginner hero, let's stick to the simplest version, the classical three-act structure. The first act is the setting. First, we get acquainted with the characters and the general situation. This is called exposition. Everything is, as a rule, peaceful and calm. But then there is a motivating event that unbalances the situation. The hero has a problem that pops up and the story begins. Where are we? The perfect place to have an adventure. You know, on this planet, only a real hero could find a radiant and amazing cube. Yeah, that's me. Go for it, my friend. You got it. <laughs> oh, could I just sneak back? I forgot to grab the band-aids. Oh. Not in any circumstance. Computer, switch to autopilot. We'll pick Wally up when he finds the cube. Hey, we didn't agree to this! <laughs> you, huh? as the main hero, just got to one of the main parts in any dramatic story. The point of no return. The first act ends with the first turning point, which is also called the point of no return. The hero can no longer continue with his old methods. To achieve the goal, he will have to make an extra effort. Then, the second act begins, the development of action. Well, I won't bother you. Yes, a cube will come back with you. Drama Ha, ha, ha. But, uh, where should I go? I'd hurry if I were you. Judging by my readings, there's a storm on the way. What? Uh...
I didn't get a chance to see the end of my dream. Whoa! My, my cube! I'm alive! And I'm fine! <laughs> I managed to survive the adventure! <laughs> Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. I did it. Oh, yeah. You've reached the most important point in your journey. It's called False Hope. What is it called? Halfway through the second act, the hero thinks that he's progressing forwards, but he's mistaken. Further tension is added to the action, and the hero is forced to increase efforts to overcome the opposition. This point is called False Hope. Still more resistance, but for the time being, everything seems to be calm. Does it not bother you that there is actually air on this planet? I'd be more bothered if there wasn't. Just the presence of air, as a rule, hints at the existence of life. What my... Ah! Oh. 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 Now that's drama. The second act is coming to an end. Josh, quiet. I'm begging you. Quiet. The most important point in the story is coming soon, my friend. And it must declare itself loudly. The second turning point in the story is at the end of the second act. At this point, the hero faces the greatest losses, and it seems that everything is lost. And the third act begins, which will lead us to the resolution. What nonsense. I don't think everything is lost. I'm tired, angry, and scared, but not more than that. Your dramaturgy doesn't work. Get me out of here. I'm all done with it. All right, my friend. Agreed. The adventure's gone on a bit, but it's time to... <laughs> but this is not good. Uh, uh... Hey, <laughs> what have you got? Huh? So my ignominious adventure has ended. I doubt I'll be able to tell my friends about it. I'll never be a hero. And all because of a stupid cube. Oh no. This is too much. Hey you! Spineless! That was my cube! 
This cannot all be in vain. This adventure is not over. <laughs> Bravo, Wally. This is the climax. I haven't experienced such a catharsis for a long time. <laughs> the climax is the main part of the whole story. It is here that it is decided if our hero wins or loses. During the climax, the audience must experience a catharsis, a purifying empathy, as said by Aristotle. After the climax, our story reaches its inevitable resolution, and our story comes to an end. Yes, that's what I call total drama. One thing I don't get. What was this all for? Why? Well, of course. A message. The most important component of any decent story. How did we forget about that? We need to replay everything. Without a message, a story is not a story. Strength, the conflict, at jeopardy, something else? No! Wally! Oh! Where are you going? Wally! The message! No!